This used to be uh, less crowded. They built all this access to the freeway up here. This used to be really sketchy, especially at night. This is where Bill Cosby's son uh, met his end. It used to be a big tourist destination. They built a big memorial here where Annis Cosby lost his life. It was really big. When it, and uh, many people were up here. Who knows if it was family members? I don't know, but it's, Bill Cosby went into prison. It's fallen into disrepair. But uh, God bless Ennis Cosby. Hollywood sign, can't see it. Pasadena, Glendale, uh, kind of North Hollywood, Sherman Oaks. In, well, Sherman Oaks in here, beautiful Van Nuys right there. Uh, Encino, I'll, yeah, where I live over that way. Liberace's house, right here. It is. It's Liberace's, the, the iron grates. The iron grates over there have uh, musical notes on it. That's Liberace's LA home. This, uh, that's Mike Farrell's house. Mike Farrell, Shelley Fabre. Mike was uh, BJ Honeycutt, MASH, a number of things. He produced a great movie called Dominic and Eugene. Tim Conway lived here. Tim Conway from the Carol Burnett Show, McHale's Navy, a million movies, one of the funniest actors. They got some sound of it. Yeah, they took it out, huh? Are they doing this in your area? Building these, oh, building these, uh, I, you know, these tributes to uh, Tony Montana Jr.? I don't know what that is. Say hello to my little fountain. I worked with Tim Conway on a cartoon with the actor Stephen Root, who's a wonderful, great, magnificent actor from News Radio, from Office Space. He was the uh, Red Stapler guy. So Stephen and I are working on a cartoon with Tim Conway. And both of us <laughs> want to sit next to Tim Conway. The session was over. And both of us are just walking with Tim Conway. Because it's Tim Conway. And he's telling us stories and it's spectacular. And we literally, we walk through the parking lot with him to his car, both of us. And he's doing that thing, like it's two high school kids. He finally has to get in his car, like, oh, okay, fellas, I have to go. But we're standing in his car, like we're ninth graders. Okay, Mr. Conway, bye. Great working with you. And uh, when he finally drives away, and Stephen Root and I look at each other and go, Tim Conway! That was Tim Conway! I'm going by Phil Hartman's house, right over here, and that was... Ring the bell, say a prayer for Phil, for his poor lost wife, for his children. God bless Phil. It's Ray Romano's house right here. Up here. I'm not gonna show you. And we don't, I don't ring the bell or pray for Ray. He's, it's right there. He's doing fine. Thank you. He's got Romano's, he's got his macaroni grill. He's got uh, residuals. He's on TV land. He's in stuff, so. And here we are back in my neck of the woods. Regular, not Richie people-ishville. Early morning, downtown LA. I played a cop on so many movies, TV shows, Freeze Jackson, we've got you, you know, I've done that a million times up here overlooking downtown. But I'm here to celebrate SpongeBob's 20th birthday. Yes, happy birthday, SpongeBob. I've been a part of the show for a long time and I'm doing a, a live action uh, part on this 20th anniversary special for SpongeBob. So SpongeBob and his friends actually get in an aquarium and um, and come to our earth from Bikini Bottom. This is a radio-controlled aquarium full of characters that they will animate later. There he is. 
So I'm here in the park throwing a frisbee for a dog. They never want you to really talk to the dog or interact with the dog very much. They always say, let's not get him overexcited. And I wasn't getting him overexcited, but uh, they just want to train the dog. The dog is a working dog, not like a dog dog. Speed. Marker. Okay. Ready, guys? We're set. And start. Wait, guys. Wait. And start, guys. And German. Come on up. What am I working with trained squirrels around here? Yeah, all right. It's like we're gonna do a raccoon and then we're done. SpongeBob's twentieth birthday, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's called. It's called that right now. Yeah. Don't tell anyone. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> this won't be out until SpongeBob actually is canceled that's and right. is yeah. dead. Tell him that. Yeah. That's <clears throat> dead. But this is jo John Clay Scott. John. John. <clears throat> in the movie, maybe you've seen it. Uh, Back to the Future Part One. Ooh. And two. And two. And two. John was uh, my stunt double in oh, uh, wow. in those movies. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh, cool. Absolutely. Well, oh, that's awesome. And as you see, we look exactly alike. <laughs> I don't know. Your hair's gotten a little browner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that will not appear on the video. Sherman, you're doing great. You're doing, you're doing great, sweetie. Way to go. May I just say, because uh, I, is this the top of the scene or where is, where are you, because I'm, I'm going to, I mean, just where am I with the dog? Is oh, you won't be in the shot. I'm not even in this shot. Not in this setup, no. Ah, good Once to know. Once I go inside. Once I go inside. Yeah, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> you guys look good. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's... And Tom. My mom passed away yesterday. We said everything that you could say. It was time. But just a little while ago, she said, you know, Tom, I boiled it down and I love three things. I said, that's great, mom. What are they? She said, I love babies. They're so pretty, they're so beautiful. Full of love and promise in those faces. I said, yeah, mom, I love babies too. She said, you know, I love puppies. The pictures of them I see, they're, they're so cute. They're just adorable and so loving, and soft. I said, yeah, mom, I understand. Puppies are great. I said, what else? And she said, I love a two-wheeled bicycle. And I just thought, oh, that's where I got it.
God bless you, Mom. Thanks.